Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways of how you can actually pass dynamic values uh, or dynamic URLs into the HTML element by using HTML component. So basically, uh, when you're trying to display the forms, you if there's a requirement like you have to show the URLs on your form dynamically. So today I'm going to show you uh, one way is through HTML component, how you can utilize HTML component and send the values dynamically. And the second way is uh, using the URL component that's there in the new version of the UI platforms. So these both are the things that I'm going to showcase. So let's get into the video and see how we can get it done. So firstly, I'll just show you the HTML way of it. Okay, so... So for that purpose, I am directly taking create form task and I am designing the form in the form designer itself. So here we don't have the URL component in this uh, version of the uh, form designer, but here we have HTML element. So I'm just dragging the HTML element here. So if you're someone who don't have a HTML uh, language idea already, then it's fine because you can just, uh, you know, go ahead and check the code for it in W3 schools there also you can find it. Otherwise, I will just put up this code in the description. You can just directly copy this particular code and you can paste it in your uh, HTML component. So what you have to do is you can just go to the display and uh, uh, inside it the content you have to just paste this so if you see here this value whatever i'm trying to pass over here this value is dynamic i want to change this value every single time that appears on the screen so for that purpose what you have to do is first thing you have to enable this property so if you just hover on this it says it re-rendered the field whenever a value of the form changes, right? So in order to change this automatically, whenever you render the form, you have to enable this refresh on change, okay? And then this value has to be render, uh, changed every time whenever the form renders, right? So for that purpose, I'm just uh, taking this whole link. Okay, and then I will be passing a, let me, yeah, I will be passing a dynamic value inside it, right? So for that purpose, you have to write inside these two curly braces, data dot value. Okay, so now what I'm going to pass inside this is dynamic, right? So I will be passing the value inside that particular uh, h reference okay so whatever the value that i'm passing inside this value is my url so how i'm going to pass is something that i'm going to show you so what we have done we just have to use this syntax data dot value and now i'm going to show you just click on save and save this close it and let's give some title like dynamic url and here i am going to pass the values so if you see here um I'm, i will be sending the form data from here so for that purpose i will be sending the value which i have provided inside my html content and this is the URL that I have taken from there. Okay. So this URL, you will be passing dynamically into the value every single time. You can save this in the variable. And whenever that variable value gets changed, you can pass it over here into this as an input argument. Okay. Just save it. And then let's debug and see. So this is one way of doing it. I'll also show you the other way. Let's go ahead and check it. So the dynamic URL is the task. 
okay so here we can see w3 schools okay so this is the only link that i have passed okay so let's say now uh, let's click this and see okay so we have got it right so let's say you wanted to pass a different url like um let me also show you um we can just take something like geeks for geeks okay so let me take only this much okay so let's go back and change the value over here and one more thing that you have to remember is here in the form designer when i've created the form i have given a text right so if you observe here i just copied this directly from w3 school so if you see here this text is dynamic so you can just keep this text or you remove it but you know whatever the text that you give so let's say here uh, like you know click here i would say so this is something static one okay so that is that is just to display so you can keep any value that you want there so now let's debug this and see now you if you click on it it should open geeks for geeks instead of w3 schools so let's go ahead and check the task that has got created okay so let's debug and see this so we can say click here let's assign to self this is a older one some issue was coming there just ignore it so now if i'm clicking on this it should take me to gigs for gifts perfect right so this is how you can uh, send the dynamic values and uh let's say i will i also mentioned you that i will be showing through url right so this is using the form task and also if you see the form designer this is the older version of the form designer correct so how can you do it in the latest version so in the latest version of the forms you have something called you can directly go here and you can create a form right so in this how you can actually do it something that i'm going to show now okay so in this once after the form gets uh, generated so you can just use the url okay and you all know that we use the field key in order to pass the values dynamically right so take this field key otherwise it's also fine you just keep it as it is so after going let's create a new dynamic url new sequence okay in that i am going to take show form okay this uh, particular activity is used to display the form okay and here i can able to select the form so my form is new form one so i'm just selecting this form and automatically the values gets generated because there is a field key inside it so you don't have to declare the value so automatically this got generated so now here what i'm going to do is i am going to provide the url but here one thing you have to remember is the url that you're going to provide it should be in this format system.uri so for that purpose you have to provide it in a certain way there's a certain syntax that you have to remember that is new system dot you are it's just a you know initialization something like that and now you can give the uri string uh url as the string okay so like this okay i have given geeks for geeks so now let's execute this and see So it will show up the form with the geeks, geeks for geeks uh, URL. Okay. So okay, let me put a uh, message box. And show you once again. 
so this is basically for the display of the url or user can also provide in the url in the form right so this is how you can actually showcase it let me show open the form so here we can see the form uh, the url that got displayed so similarly uh, you can just change the value there and it gets displayed over here so this is how you can do it uh, so these are the two different ways one is using html component and the other one is using this so in next video i'm also going to show you how you can actually utilize let me show you in this uh, HT, uh, in the normal uh, create form task okay so in the create form task there is two options right so you can design the form uh, over here and let's say you wanted to design designed a, a, a particular form already and if you wanted to use that particular form somewhere else so how you can reuse that forms right so already created forms how you can reuse that how you can use local form file so this is something that i'm going to talk in the next video so if you wanted to learn more about forms or you know updates of uipath then definitely do subscribe to my channel i'll be always up with new content thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed let's do consider subscribing thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye